Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation live from Studio B. Jason Shepard, Dave McCann, and we are very happy to be joined by BYU quarterback Jake Retzloff. And Jake, first of all, welcome to Studio B. This is the first time that you've been here, right? Yeah, it's a pretty great place you guys got here, man. Yeah, we uh, look, only the best for Jake Retzloff when he comes <laughs> in for This was not here yesterday. We did this all for you today. Oh, How about that? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, we'll so something, we got to bring something up. I've obviously done the, the show with Dave for the last 45 minutes. I had not seen his socks. He's wearing Cubs socks today. Uh, as a Cardinals fan, I take, a, I take offense to that. These socks were a gift. We also found out you're a Cardinals fan. How do you feel about Big his Big Cardinals Cubs? fan. I don't know if I could do the rest of the interview. I mean, honestly, I might walk out. I don't know. <laughs> Jake, thanks for being here today. Come out next. <laughs> move on. Right, it's two versus one, Dave. So l right. let's, let's start here. Sure. You come to BYU. You've been here now for a while. How, how have you acclimated to BYU and Provo? Uh, it's been it's been awesome. I mean, I've received nothing but a warm welcome from everybody around me and through the football facility and even in upper campus and the academic side. Everything's everybody's been great towards me. And it's definitely a little slower than Southern California, but uh, it's it's been good. Never mind your stats, which were incredible coming from junior college to to BYU. What's been the most noticeable differences? Um, I really think it's, you know, the professionalism at this level, and I think that's really from the top down. You know, Kalani sets a high standard for our coaching staff, and coaching staff sets a high standard for the players, and that's just kind of, you know, echoes through the halls, and it's like we're not here to mess around and throw the ball around. We're here to go win football games and, and have a lot of fun doing it, and so that's been a, a big, you know, plus for me, and I really appreciate that because we're not getting treated like high school kids anymore. We're getting treated like adults because we are, and we're playing an adults game. Really, a kids' game as adults. Right. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's get to know you a little bit better. T tell BYU Sports Nation a little bit about you. Likes, dislikes, interests, what you do away from football. We've already covered baseball. There's yeah, we, no reason we know. To bring we know you have great taste in baseball teams. Yeah. First and foremost. Uh, yeah. But just yeah, give give everybody an idea of, of who you are. Uh, man. Well, you know, born and raised in Southern California. I've been in California kid my whole entire life. So love the beach. Love uh, love everything about that weather out there. Uh, luckily, it's warming up here, which is nice. Uh, grew up playing football, basketball, and baseball uh, with my two brothers. Really competitive household. I'm the son of two coaches. My dad a football coach. My mom a tennis coach. Um, and my dad, my dad's actually was a D line coach, and so he believes he was cursed with a quarterback son and a receiver son. So <laughs> he deserves so it. He's not a fan of that, but uh, but no, he's loved every minute of it. He's been super supportive, and uh, I definitely get that drive and competitive nature from my mom. She's awesome. She's been true great role model in my life and so you know I like to just be outside and play sports is what I've done my whole life yeah. and uh, so it's fun cool what has it been about your decision here and when you went through the process because you had plenty of options uh, when you think of Zach Wilson you think of Jaron Hall uh, Keaton Slovis even and and you guys who are in the NFL want to go to the NFL was that a key factor of this system is doing this right now yeah and so uh, one thing that I knew about BYU before it is the guys like Steve Young getting out, you know, right. Ty Detmer, Max Hall, these, these great quarterbacks in the past. But what was really impressive to me was the great quarterbacks of now. I mean, BYU has seemingly been spoiled with quarterbacks the last few seasons with Jaron and Zach. And, you know, a guy going number two overall and then Jaron just getting drafted to the Vikings this year. It's, it's really impressive stuff. And I know Coach Arod is developing some really good quarterbacks. And so it's really attractive to a guy who has aspirations for that level. How are you approaching this season? And maybe what do you want out of this season? Uh, that, that's a good question. Um, I think coming in with, uh, with Keaton in the building, obviously, it's, uh, it's an interesting dynamic because Keaton's the only guy, you know, he, he's come from Power 5 football. And so we know he's played it and we know he can play it. And so it's, uh, it's been good learning from him a lot, um, just kind of how he approaches his day-to-day -day stuff because, you know, honestly, approaching junior college is a lot different than Division One football. And... Uh, so I've been able to learn from him a lot. I think this season's going to be a lot of that. Um, you know, gratefully, that I'm grateful for how good of a guy he is and how he's been easy to talk to and easy to get along with. I think me and him are pretty close. And so uh, it's, been, it's been nice for, you know, so far. And, and going into the season, I just know that, you know, I'll be pushing him when I, as hard as I can and supporting him on the field. And I know he'd do the same for me. Look at your timeline. And obviously you came here to be a starter. Uh, Slovis is the starter going in if he stays healthy and stays that way the way the rules are set up you can play in four games and still have two full years yeah. afterwards is that kind of the big picture vision for you uh, yeah that's definitely you know in the equation right now um, I think a red shirt this year is a possibility with the uh, two years possibly to start for BYU 
It might be tough to wait, but it would be <laughs> worth yeah. it. Yeah, it's funny because, I mean, I haven't had to wait since, like, my sophomore year of high school, so it's been a while since I've been waiting around, but it's been good so far. Yeah. One of the very cool stories related to you is about your religion and being the first Jewish quarterback ever at BYU. That, that has garnered a lot of attention, overwhelmingly positive. What has that meant to you, and, and what does that aspect of your life, how does it help you in, in your athletic endeavors? Well, like I said, the reception here was incredible, and that, was, that went beyond football. That went as me as a person, and especially my religion. And being the first Jewish quarterback at BYU is a huge milestone, I feel like, for me and feel for BYU. Uh, I feel like in some way or another I could open the door for other athletes who feel like they might not belong if they're not LDS and kind of relations to that. And uh, But it's been amazing and it's been incredible. And I didn't know I would have this kind of platform that I have now. And I didn't know that it would blow up this far. You know, I think that the Deseret wrote an article on me and that thing blew up more than I could have imagined and so that kind of attention it's been pretty cool to have um and it's just you know i just want to be a great representative of my faith and i think it's uh, a lot of people around this place like i might be the only jewish quarter person they know and definitely the only jewish quarterback they know and so uh it's been cool to like you know educate the guys on a certain amount of things and uh they get to return the favor with uh you know the lds faith and because i don't know as much about that as people might think and they don't know very much about my faith so it's kind of cool basketball coach mark pope uh is recruiting the world for guys and he, he said something interesting last year as he had three muslim players on the basketball team um, that never happened before and uh and he said byu as a as an institution and a place is best suited for any student athlete in the world no matter their beliefs to come and flourish feel safe and uh and and develop and in these first couple of months, have you felt that? Yeah, 100 percent. No doubt about that. And like I said, the support's been amazing. And, you know, you don't get treated any different than anybody else in the building. And, I mean, you go introduce yourself to somebody and be like, hey, you know, it's always a question, are you LDS? And it's like, no, I'm actually Jewish. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. That's so cool that you're here and you're Jewish and stuff like that. And I believe there's a total of five Jewish kids on campus. Uh, I think I've been able to contact three of the other four. Um, we got a little group <laughs> chat going. Nice. But, uh, but it's been, yeah, so I found a little community here in Utah County, actually, that's a Jewish community, and so got plenty of support from them, and there's no doubt that anybody can come here and flourish, and I've definitely experienced that so far. Hey, we're excited to watch you play. Yeah. We're excited to get on the field. Yeah, we can't wait for the season to get going. And one of the things we have on the show, it's something called the BYU Sports Nation Karma. Now, we understand there's, there's not any games coming up in the near future because normally we give to somebody and then they perform really, really well in, in the upcoming game. It's, it's very real. It's good karma. So it's good karma. We are going to give it to you for the offseason heading <laughs> into the season. So we are now going to give you the BYU Sports Nation karma, and we will allow you to do with it what you will. Oh, I'll gladly accept it then, <laughs> it's as long a, as it's good karma. It's yeah. the first time offseason karma has ever been given. Look, look, you got to do it. You've got to do it. Jake, it's been a pleasure to, to get to know you, and thanks so much for stopping by. We really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Me, guys. Good to see you.